Hey everyone, Miss Phantom Fangs. Just doing a quick review on this new book that's just come out, A Guide to Health and Disease in Reptiles and Amphibians by Dr. Brendan Carmel and Dr. Robert Johnson. For those of you who are in Australia, I can provide you with links as to where I bought this from, um, which is a Dr. Danny Brown, or his uh, website is Gecko Dan. If you wanted to Google it, or if you'd like the direct link, just ask me and I'm happy to provide it. Uh, basically because this is an Australian book, it focuses on Australian animals. So basics for keeping reptiles and amphibians, choosing what reptile to buy, quarantine, husbandry, housing frogs, housing turtles, housing reptiles, thermoregulation, why it's important, heating, lighting, hygiene, handling, restraint and transportation, feeding, breeding, sex identification, reproductive anatomy and physiology, healthy reptile and amphibian and it goes through um, lots of different things, weights, all different um, respira respiration, eyes, mouth, different species, python snakes, lizards, turtles, frogs, anatomy of snakes, lizards, turtles and frogs, uh, diseases and conditions by species and you've got pythons and snakes, bacterial diseases, non-infectious diseases and conditions, lizards, turtles, frogs, uh, quick flick through the book, shows you all the different kinds of conditions, uh, I like the section on quarantine, that's good, a lot of people don't sort of put much value on that, the bigger your collection gets the more importance you need to place on quarantine. Housing lizards, thermoregulation, handling, restraint, breeding, retained eggs, what healthy reptiles should look like. Then we've got, um, I think that looks like sort of deformities, different species, uh, abscess on a lizard, goes through your frogs, this is your anatomy section. Systematic diseases, first aid, what you should have in your first aid kit, diseases for pythons and snakes. There was actually a good photo in here of what happens when you feed, what can happen if you feed live. I believe this is it here, yeah. Rat wound on a carpet python by feeding live. Pretty bad um, neurological diseases on a bit of dragon. This is um, metabolic bone disease. Got a section on that. The importance of UV. All different kinds of diseases identifies uh, common ones for particular animals, turtles, emaciation, infectious diseases, non-infectious diseases. So yeah, there we have it. It's a really good book, so I recommend it to anyone who keeps Australian species. Uh, like I said, got it from Dr. Danny Brown on his Gecko Dan website. Uh, just message me below if you want the link and I can pop it up. But highly recommend. It was a really good purchase.